One of the great things about options income trading is that you can set up trades with an incredibly high probability of success, even if the initial thesis of your trade is flat out wrong. I'm Seth Freuberg, the head trader of SMB Capital's Options Trading Desk here in Manhattan, and the traders here understand that option strategies can give you an enormous runway over which you can make good money on a trade. In this video, we'll teach you a strategy which does just that. So stick around because I think you're going to find this intriguing. Hi, I'm Seth Freiberg, and I'm the head trader of SMB Capital's Options Trading Desk. SMB Capital is a proprietary trading firm located in Midtown Manhattan, and we provide capital for options and equity traders from all over the world, trading both remotely and in our offices here in New York City. Now, I'd like to suggest that you click on our subscribe button right now so that you don't miss any of our free trading videos that we produce for traders and investors all over the world. They're really valuable. One of the things that SMB co-founder Steve Spencer told me a long time ago is that the short Friday session after Thanksgiving is often a great trading day that lots of traders miss because they're hung over from Thanksgiving festivities. And this past Thanksgiving was no, no exception. On Thanksgiving evening, a news report hit the wires that there was a potentially new super transmissible variant of COVID-19, which they're calling Omicron, and they don't know whether existing vaccines will be effective in neutralizing it. And that was enough to tank the futures market. And so the S&P 500 index, after having just four days earlier, set an all-time intraday high at 47.43 gapped down on the Friday morning after Thanksgiving and kept running bearishly, falling 200 points from that all day, all time intraday high that it had set earlier and ran right through downwards through December 3rd. So let's suppose that you had a market thesis that this Omicron sell-off was going to be a short-term reaction to a certain point during the pandemic and that this is going to blow over and we'll have a Santa Claus rally after that for the rest of the year. And of course, any thesis can be wrong and it can turn out that Omicron is actually going to be a major setback in our pandemic battle. And so it would be helpful to have a strategy that can reward you even if your thesis is wrong. And that's exactly what we're about to teach you by using what are known as call options on indexes. Now, before we get into exactly how we're gonna set this strategy up using call options, I wanted to let you know that beyond what we're teaching you in this video, there are a large number of sound, viable long-term techniques for trading options for income. And in that regard, we're currently running a two-hour free intensive workshop where we'll be teaching you three of those strategies that real professional options traders use. And in that webinar, we're going to be teaching you a really simple but incredibly effective strategy that some of the greatest investors in the world use all the time, plus an options trading strategy that has a statistical 80% probability of profit month in and month out, plus an option strategy that you can employ with the stock that you like, where you'll make your target profit, whether the stock goes up nowhere or even down a small percentage. So if you'd like to learn these strategies, then just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right corner of your screen. That will open the free registration page in a new window. So don't worry, you won't lose this video or you can register for the workshop at optionsclass.com. It's not often that retail traders can be taught strategies employed by actual Wall Street traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now and don't miss it. To make sure that everyone watching this video understands how call options on indexes work, we're going to do a really quick review of that. And for those of you familiar with how they work, just hang in there. This is going to be really quick, and then we'll jump back into teaching you the strategy. All right, so the best way to understand an index call option is to think of them as bets that pay off in an index when an index closes above what's known as the strike price of the call option on the day that the option expires. And the buyer of the option pays what's called a premium to place this bet, and he pays that premium to the one taking that bet, who is the call seller. Now, if the index does close above the call strike price on expiration day, then the call buyer gets $100 per point that the market closes above that call strike price. But if the index closes below the call's strike price, then the option expires worthless and the call seller just gets to pocket the premium that the buyer gave him in the first place. 
So for example, suppose that an index closed at 4032 one day. Well, if the call buyer had bought a 4,000 call, then he would receive from the call seller $3,200, which is $100 per point that the index closed above the strike price of the call. On the other hand, if he owned the 4075 call, that one would just expire worthless because the index didn't close above 4075. So the call seller just pockets the premium. Okay, so now with that as background, let's take a look at an opportunity that existed that day. And it's gonna surprise some of you who are not completely familiar with how option strategies work. So let's say on that Friday morning, December 3rd, with the SPX trading down at 4551, we decided to set up an option strategy expiring a week later on December 10th that could profit substantially if the index rallied over the next week. So with the index trading at 4551, we'd go way up to 4,700 and buy 10 4,700 calls, and we'd sell 20 4,710 calls, and finally we'd buy 10 4,725 calls simultaneously, all expiring on December 10th. Well, if we did that, we'd be creating what is known as a call broken wing butterfly, which could be a very powerful trade, as you'll see in a minute. So let's break down what's going on here cash flow wise so you'll start to get the hang of how this works. So let's start with the 4710 calls, which remember we sold and we received $5.65 for those. But remember, each point above 4710 is worth $100. So you multiply that price by 100 and we sold 20 of them. So that comes to a total of $11,300 received for those 20. And with that same logic, we paid $6.60 for the 10 4,700 calls, laying out $6,600 for those. And we paid a price of $3.95 for the 4,725 calls because those are farther away from the money from the current market price. So for those, we lay out $3,950. So when you net it all down, you end up with a total credit cash deposited right into your account of $750. So that's how the trade starts out. You get a cash inflow of $750 in your account. And incidentally, your broker is going to require you to have at least $4,250 in your account to execute this trade, which is also the worst case scenario for the trade. Now, here's what I'd like you to focus on when considering why we structured the trade this way and why this is such a compelling trade for many traders. So remember now our thesis was that the Omicron sell-off was going to be temporary and that the market would go on a Santa Claus rally into the end of the year. But suppose it doesn't turn out that way. What would be the outcome of the trade? Well, let's suppose that instead of the SPX bouncing, it continued to sell off into the next week. And let's just suppose that hypothetically the index closed 150 points lower on the day these options expired on December 10th, closing it 4,400. Well, in that case, then we would have already collected that original $750 in initial cash flow from executing the trade. And that's it. Because if the market closed at 4,400, then all three of the options positions, the 20 we sold at 4,710 and the 10 each that we bought at 4,700 and 4,725, all of those options would expire worthless because they only have value if the market closes above their strike prices. And so that original cash flow actually becomes our trade profit. And that's what's so cool about options trading, because there are trading approaches that are allow, that allow you to be flat out wrong about direction on a stock or index and still make a really solid profit. In this case, a return of 17.6% in a week. And you were wrong about market direction. But what actually would have happened in the market on this trade is even more fascinating. And so let's move to December 10th. And as you can see, the SPX closed over 4,700 that day up at 4,711.65 exactly. And so now let's analyze the actual outcome of the trade so you'll see just how powerful call broken wing butterflies can be. And so what actually would have happened starts again with that $750 of initial cash flow that we keep. And then the recognition that those 4710 calls expired in the money, meaning that since we sold them, we owe the owner of those calls the amount by which the index closed above our strike price. 
which in this case, as you can see from the calculation, is a dollar sixty-five times one hundred, and we sold twenty of them. So you multiply that by twenty, and we're obligated to pay thirty-three hundred dollars for those twenty calls. But then moving down to the ten forty-seven hundred calls that we own, well, those expired eleven dollars and sixty-five cents in the money. But this time we own them, and so using that same multiplication of 100 times, our 10 options that we own, we get paid by the call seller $11,650 for those 4,700s. And then finally, the 4,725 options expired worthless as the market closed below their strike prices. And so netting it all down results in a win of $9,100 on this trade, which is a return of 214%, which speaks for itself. So what I'd like you to take away from today's video is the fact that options trading, unlike pretty much any other form of trading, allows you to make a tremendous profit when you're right on your trading thesis, but still, in most cases, can make a respectable profit if you're outright wrong. Now, I'm not saying there's no way to lose on this trade. And in fact, if the market had rallied much higher, a loss was possible, uh, if not probable, on this trade. But the larger point is that the call broken wing butterflies allow for a huge range of outcomes for the price of the SPX index, where you make either a good profit or a great one. Professional options traders understand these kinds of opportunities and take advantage of them all the time. Now, just to remind you, as I said earlier, if you enjoyed this video and learned something valuable from it, we'd like to learn the details of three real world option strategies that professional options traders use all the time, then you should check out the free options class that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right corner of your screen. That will open the free registration page in a new window so you won't lose this video, don't worry. Or you could just head on over to optionsclass.com to register for this free intensive workshop. It's really a rare opportunity for retail traders and investors to learn directly from Wall Street traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now and don't miss it. And please don't forget to click on the subscribe button right now so you won't miss all of the free trading videos that we're posting constantly on our channel to help you to improve your game as an options trader.